welcome back to Summit Sunrise here with Jimbo from Precision Ski and Golf. And you know, we're kind of switching gears here. I think there's probably a lot of people out there that are, yeah. are ready for summer. They are ready for You know, that's, that's one of the beautiful things about uh, living here in the county is that, uh, you know, as one sporting season uh, winds down, you know, other sporting seasons are winding up, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I know because there, uh, there's not a lot of snow on the ground at the golf courses. Uh, like the Ravens already been able to get uh, to get open, and I'm sure Breckenridge uh, mm -hmm. and Keystone and Copper are going to follow suit. And you know, we're all looking forward to a nice long uh, golf season. Yes, we are, and that's uh, yeah, definitely one of those great things about living here is that you can you can golf in the morning and maybe go snowboarding in the afternoon oh, if you want. Oh man, what a day! Right? Two activities exactly. for sure. Exactly. Now, what do we have here with us today? Well, you know, I just I brought in a bunch of uh, grips. And uh, these are just uh, sort of different golf heads. As you know, we're, we're a custom shop, so we make all of our clubs at, uh, at uh, Precision. Um, and, you know, some of the things that are important about clubs is uh, that they're fitted to you. You know, it's mm -hmm. just like your ski or snowboard equipment. You know, that if it, if it is adjusted to you, if it's the right length, if the grip is the right size and uh, the club is the... Uh, uh, built for you pretty mm -hmm. much you know uh, you'll you'll have a much better time out there playing golf you know it's it's like a lot of sports you know being in the in the right equipment makes the difference right you know that's something um now now Jimbo knows I'm not a golfer but I can drive that cart like a champ yeah. and now so I would guess that you know being able to actually have those custom clubs I understand that you know that golf can be a very frustrating sport and so you know there's a there's a that. lot of good things that have to happen inside of two seconds right that's golf you know it takes about two seconds to to make a shot and you know your connection to your golf club is your grip and uh, grips th there's an assortment a plethora of grips based on color, based on size, based on materials. And, um, you know, one of the things that, that uh, you can do uh, yourself is if you have golf clubs and, you know, you found them, uh, they're back there behind your skis and snowboard equipment, uh, is first of all, clean the grips. Mm. Uh, they get dirty, you know, from uh, picking up your golf ball. It's got dirt and grass on it that gets transferred to the grip. And pretty soon the grips don't feel tacky. Oh. And uh, a good cleaning is, uh, is one way to restore some tackiness. And sometimes grips have to be replaced. We use uh, a grip sizer that uh, you put your hand on uh, the, the grip sizer and it'll tell us whether you use uh, an undersize or an average size or huh. midsize or oversized grip because the, the size of the grip is really, really important. It has to feel comfortable. It has to be right for your your body size. Uh, uh, if the, the grip is too small, you'll end up trying to squeeze the club so tightly to keep it from uh, turning in your hands. You know, the one thing about golf clubs is they're really awkward. You know, they're, yeah, if you think sure, about a yeah. tennis racket, it's, right. you know, symmetrical. You know, Kinda a golf club is wonkus. It's got this big weight hanging off one side of it so maneuvering that you know through the grip it becomes important and uh, you know grips have a lot of different uh feelings to them some are uh, soft and spongy some are tacky and uh, you know to have a grip that that feels good and fits your hand you're well on your way to having a good round of golf you know and so if someone wanted to come in, um, you know, whether it's women or men or maybe someone that's really short or really tall, I mean, can you customize really for anybody? Sure, sure. We can, okay. me we can measure the, uh, uh, the club length and what their, what their body shape would, would uh, warrant as, uh, as how long a golf club should be. And, you know, although a lot of golf clubs look the same, you know, the, you're holding the key mm -hmm. ingredient right that's there, and that's the mm -hmm. shaft that uh, you can feel that is super, super lightweight. Yeah, really light. And, uh, you know, the, the fact that it's a, a carbon graphite shaft as opposed to a metal shaft, mm -hmm. uh, it absorbs a lot of the shock from hitting the ball. It's more comfortable. Um, you know, a lot of manufacturers include graphite shafts in maybe part of the makeup of a set of clubs or possibly on every club. And... Um, we can reshaft clubs. We can take a shaft out, put a new shaft in. 
a shaft that maybe matches up the skier's uh, skill level or a golfer's yeah, ski level. They probably I'm still you. on the they ski season you. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And so, obviously, there's so many different things uh, to think about when it comes to your golf game. And I know you guys can even do, you know, custom footbeds for the shoes. For exactly. The shoes, you, know? you know, a lot of a lot of times that's overlooked in uh, in uh, golf equipment because you can't see it. Right. You know, it's not a big driver or a shiny wedge or something. Right. It's inside your shoe. You never really see it. It's a tremendous help to have supportive uh, footwear beneath all this activity of swinging the golf right. club. You know, it's just like, like skiing and snowboarding. You know how important footbeds are there? They're equally important in golf and they help putting, they help driving, they help chipping, they help your fairway shots, they help walking to and from your golf cart or walking all the way around the, the course. And probably also your, your social life. You know, because if your feet hurt at the end of the day and you're, you're, gonna you're be not crabby. going to happy hour, you're gonna right? You're going to be crabby. Yeah, exactly. If your feet feel great. Uh, you're going to be out dancing yeah, all night long. Yeah, exactly. So obviously there's so many different options. And, uh, you know, whether it's, you know, maybe you just need to get one of your clubs repaired or you're interested in getting a whole new set. Clearly precision sure. skiing golf is, uh, is the place to go. And so what are your typical hours right now? Right now we're uh, doing split hours. We do split hours all during the uh, the summer. We're open uh, early in the morning from uh, nine till noon, and then from three until five in the afternoon. We close down during May. Okay. Um, we go recharge our batteries a little bit, right. play a little uh, golf uh, right. at a lower practice level. Your game. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Practice the game. Come back, and uh, we're ready to go for uh, the summer. Okay. So now is the time to get in there and uh, and get your golf game the best it can be before you even head out there on the links. And uh, and clearly, this is the guy to talk to you. Well, Jimbo, thanks for coming. Thanks for having always me. Golf is happening. Man, I know. And always our best smelling guest. Always. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. We're gonna take another quick break here on Summit Sunrise. Don't go away.